channel Peace on Earth and Love and Light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to my channel. So first, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to tell y'all how upset I am. Going into this video, it's supposed to be all positive and stuff, and I'm kind of upset because I only have two of these that one of my good friends gave me three of. And I'm just not that type of person. Like, I'm not that type of person to be like, oh, somebody stole it. Because I used to know somebody like that. Like, every time something was missing, they just accused somebody of stealing it. And I'm just so not that person. But I really do feel like somebody stole it. Because I was in this situation where this guy was like, um, not nobody like romantic or nothing like that. But sometimes, you know, doing this work, you run into, you know, characters and um, just different characters. And I just had a feeling that he was the type, you know, guys just listen to your intuition sometimes. That's the only reason why I'm telling you guys this, because sometimes you just need to listen to your intuition. That he was the type to steal. I was just feeling like that. How do I only just have two? Like, they just sit there. Like, my baby can't reach them. Like, my son, he ain't stun them. They just sit there. I don't touch them. Nobody else has been over here. Like, I don't touch them. And I'm just the type of person like, girl, but before you accuse somebody, but what do y'all think? Follow your intuition, okay? Because... I'm pretty sure it was stolen. <laughs> like, nobody else is over here. And I purposely put them in a spot where my daughter can't touch them. Are y'all ready? So, we have the words. Uh, what words I was going to have for the cards? Destiny. Uh, forever. Happy. So, we got happy, destiny, and forever. Be led to a word or a card or however you want to be led to, okay? But just to make sure like how i do it the very first one like it usually resonates with me like the very first one that comes to my mind like if i just say like the word happy like if someone says like happy or something like that um or whatever they say you know if it's a crystal and it just something in me just kind of hits me and then i just pick that one are y'all ready so we're about to do this pick a card reading for um what am i going to call this it's like looking into your future, your relationship future. And y'all know, y'all already know, I don't do typical, like, relationship readings like like the majority of videos on YouTube. Uh, when it comes to, not on YouTube, but when it comes to psychic readings, y'all already know, it's rare that I do those. So, I'm just sitting here chilling and Spirit gave me the idea to do this. And... Uh, sometimes, you know, depending on, depending on what's going on in my own life, you know, I'll do a reading that has to do with love or something like that, but this don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> like, usually, y'all, when I'm on a reading and they start talking about love, like, I just get off of it and assume I'm on the wrong reading because I just don't want to focus on love right now. It's not that I don't want it. I just don't like to hear it in the reading. I just would rather hear about my career, my finances. Like, that's all I care about most of the time. So, y'all don't have to be like me. And when Spirit gave me this idea, I was like, yeah, this would be definitely a good idea for people. And um, so, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we're going to also see, like, how many people you're going to actually have to go through. Like, it's not like you're going to be able to count them all or some of you might be able to count them all. I don't know, but, and I decided not to just count sexual partners anyways, because, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying that that can be a lot for you guys, but I understand some of you guys are probably sexual, sexually fluid, because ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, especially if you are, oh, that's another thing, make sure you, you have your sacral chakra intact, okay, because sometimes people have strange beliefs when it comes to sex and when it comes to relationships, period, because their sacral chakra needs to be balanced, you know, and opened. So, um, 
yeah, I decided not to count the sexual partners, but basically just people who you will be in relationships with. Like, how many relationships do you have to deal with before you get to that one? Or, you know, what does that one look like for your relationship? So, we're looking into your relationship future, and I'm going to count, and I'm going to see if I can tell you guys what does that person look like. And all that. Are y'all ready for this? Okay, so... Okay, so for those of you guys who relate to the word happy, here are your cards. We have this innocence card right here. We have this cultivation card right here. For those of you guys who relate to the word happy, I'm getting really happy energy here. We've got this delight card here. So, oh my gosh, all three of these cards are a light in heart and mind. You guys see that? All three of these are a light in the heart of mine. We're looking into your relationship future. All three of these are light in the heart and mine. Y'all see? So we have a light in the heart and mind. Active versus passive. Hierarchy versus partnership. Flexibility within structure. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many messages here. And then we have these cards, these oracle cards here. So, <laughs> I'm getting, since all these I will usually interpret as negative, I'm getting three, three relationships. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Three relationships that you're going to have to go through. So, if you are already in a relationship, I don't know what to say about that. I just say just take this for advice or just take it for what it is if it really resonates with you or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, Y'all, I just did my nails yesterday and this one broke. Like, it split down the middle. Anyways. <laughs> so, three relationships you're going to have to go through before you get to, um, before it's time for you to, before Spirit actually sends you that one to marry. Gosh, I can't pick nothing up off this counter. Let me see what Spirit is saying, though. Okay. With these three right here, this is gonna, with these three, the light and heart and mind, it seems like your relationship future is gonna have to deal with a lot of opening up, for one, your heart chakra. This is gonna really have a lot to do with your heart and your crown chakra. Now, this is just something that I heard of. Something about um, your heart chakra has to be open before your crown chakra is open. I just recently heard that, something like that. Okay, so look that up. So, um, some of you guys, I know for me personally, I've been dealing a lot with my crown chakra here lately, and it was like the only one that was always straight. <laughs> that was always good. So, for your relationship journey, I think that a lot of you guys are are going to have to deal with, um, you're going to have to deal with a lot of battling, a lot of self issues, like issues that come with uh, how you perceive, um, not self really, but um, kind of like how you just perceive love to be, how you perceive marriage to be, how you perceive partners to be, you know what? If K. Michelle watched this video, maybe she'll be led to this because I feel like some K. Michelle energy. And like I said, I feel like I'm kind of talking to myself here. And um, because I kind of sort of agree with K. Michelle. Have y'all heard that? When she was like, she don't feel like men are good people. You know, I think when it comes to being in a relationship, you know, I just kind of feel her on that. I just don't go to the extreme of saying that it's every man, but I just kind of feel her on that because I think it's vice versa. I think it's certain things that that men have to deal with that, that they're just like, wow, like women are just like this. And I think we women, especially when it comes to heterosexual relationships, are just like, um, it's just certain things that we have to deal with as, you know, if we're going to be with men, you know. So, I think it's vice versa, but I kind of feel her, you know, for that point. And I think some of you guys probably heard her and was like, yo, like I feel you. And Spirit is like, throughout your relationship future, until you get that one that Spirit is sending you to, um, then you're going to have to deal with a lot of going through um, this flexibility and structure here, Car. You're definitely have to going to have to deal with, with uh, 
some guys or girls, like, uh, it don't matter if you're heterosexual or homosexual here, okay? So just take the message as it is. You're definitely going to have to deal with um, flexibility within structure. So I'm getting, when it comes to the person, uh, what, what their ways, just the ways of this person, it's like I know what I'm trying to say, but let me let me give you guys an example, okay? Um, me, for instance, okay? It's one reason why I don't do relationship readings, okay? It, ha it has to come through spirit in order for me to do them. I actually feel like, why are a lot of people doing relationship readings? Because a lot of them are not ready to be talking about that. Not all the time, you know? But um, I think uh, you're going to have to be a little flexible when it comes to your stuff and your partner's stuff. Um, your ways and your partner ways. It's like you're just really, like, um, you're really set on your ways and what you want. Like, I always say, you guys, for an example, um, if I find a guy and he wants to move in with me, like, I would prefer him just not to move in with me because I don't want to decorate my house. Um, um, what would I call it? Uh, what what would you call it when you're decorating, you're decorating for a man and a woman? Like y'all, it's something about that. If if I need healing on that, y'all pray for me. It's something about that that I just despise having to decorate my house because I've been without home for a long time. So you mean to tell me when I get my home, I gotta, I gotta like take in consideration a boy's perspective? Like, ugh, I'm too girly for that. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You guys gonna have to really deal with stuff like that. What's mine? What's his? What's yours? What's his? The way, um, he, his ways are your ways is, you know, him leaving the the um him just leaving things untidy and you being a neat freak or she just coming in um she's coming in leaving her makeup everywhere and you know you're a neat freak and you know whether or not he leaves the the, the stool up and, and you want it down and stuff like that it's just like normal things that you have to deal with you know and um <laughs> It's normal things that you have to deal with. You're going to have to, Spirit is like, we're working on you to deal with that. Because you're going to have to be a little bit more flexible in this relationship within structure, though. Because Spirit is like, okay, since that's how you are, don't take away who you are. Because there is a person out there who is going to respect you for that. So I'm hoping you guys, there's somebody out there that's just going to respect that, you know, we can be together, but you have your own home. Because, like, I don't want to, like, you guys, I don't even want to share a bed. The only time I want to share share a bed is for one purpose, so you guys already know what that is. I don't want to share no. I don't want to share my bedroom with him, like, cause I feel like I don't want boy stuff in my bedroom. I want a very girl. I like I like girly flowers and and pearls and and sparkly things all over my bedroom. Like I don't I don't want his boy stuff there. So, <laughs> you guys, you're going to meet somebody who's going to understand it with you, who will understand that. But if you're like me, then you might need a little healing within that spirit. like throughout your relationship journey, that's one thing they're going to be working on you with. You know, some things, like I said, when it just comes to your heart and the mind, just the way you think and perceive relationships to be, you know. And um, hierarchy versus partnership, okay, that's what I was just saying. That's kind of what I was just saying, but this is another level. So Spirit is like, you're going to have to deal with, um, you're going to have to, Spirit is like, throughout your relationship journey, uh, you're dealing with, you're a real high, strong person. You have high remorse, you have high standards, nothing, nothing is wrong with that. But Spirit is like, you're going to have to learn how to give, how to take, and who is going to wear the pants, okay? Like me, I wasn't with that stuff Fantasia was talking about. Did y'all hear that? I, I, I'm not with that. I'm not with that stuff, you know? Like, ain't nobody head. Nobody is is the head of relationships. I don't like when people say relationships is a team. Like, a relationship is a compromise, okay? If there's some stuff he's better than me in, it would be foolish of me to try to take the head. If there's some stuff that in the relationship that, that I'm better than him in, then it would be foolish of him to take the lead or, or claim that he's the head. So, that's my perception on that you know so so if some of you guys are like me you're gonna have to really 
have to really learn. Like I said, it might not be just that. I'm telling you guys what I'm dealing with, but now I'm telling you what Spirit is saying. I'm giving you guys my example, and then I'm saying when it comes to things like that, you're going to have to decide, okay, well, who's going to take the lead here? Who's going to be the head here? Because if you're like, you know, especially, I'm, I think I'm talking to a lot of women, especially if you come off really strong, you're a strong woman, and a man is naturally like that, <coughs> heterosexual or homosexual, men are usually just naturally like that. They come off like natural leaders, you know. But some of you guys just say you like that alpha male, okay? You might have to just kind of compromise a little bit. Spirit's going to teach you with that. But that don't mean you change your ways because you're going to meet a man who's going to really respect you for who you are, is what I'm saying, you know. But you guys have to know when you're seeking a relationship there's some things you're just gonna have to bend for you're gonna have to compromise for okay um higher through versus partnership you have to just say okay if i'm gonna be in this partnership you know who is going to you know you don't have to say like who is just going to take the lead or who's going to be the head that's not what i'm saying i'm saying you're really going to have to say like okay when do i fall back and let this person lead you know when do I let this person um, be, even if you are in a homosexual relationship, you can still say, two men, you can still say, when am I going to let my man be the man? Or when am I going to let my woman, if it's two women, my woman be the woman? So you guys will know what I'm talking about here, you know. Sometimes we have to stand up in whatever position that is and just kind of fall back and let this person shine. You know, let this person do what they were born to do. You can't take over every single thing, you know, period. <laughs> you know, you're a strong person, you are a leader, but you can't be like Gabrielle. You can't have control issues here, okay? Throughout your relationship, your journey, the spirit's going to work with you when it comes to, like, basically that's it. Your control issues that you have, y'all. <laughs> so, um... Uh, Okay, to me, this is confirming. Spirit already told me some of these cards are just going to be like a story. Saying the same thing. You know, you're working throughout your love journey. You're working through, You're working with your heart and mind, the way you perceive relationships, relationships to be. Active versus passive. Like I said, throughout your whole journey, this is what you're going to be working on. Spirit is like, we're working on you with this. So work on your crown and your heart chakra, you guys. How to be active, when to be active, when to be passive. You know, when to go, when to fall back. You know, when to be, when to have that submissive mindset. You know, when to have that, that leader mindset. You don't have to just be in a relationship where it's just like you want to take that role. And if you know you believe in that, then that's what Spirit is working on you with. Spirit is working on you to be more submissive. Because we have some Eves in this world. Nothing is wrong with that. Then we have what, what I would consider some Eves. Nothing is wrong with that. And then we have what I would consider some um some some um Liliths. Nothing is wrong with that. You know, so whatever you however you perceive a relationship to be, spirit's gonna work on you with that. Even if you are say like a little lil 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 personality, I'm stuttering. <laughs> then spirit is like okay sometimes you might have to fall back you might have to be submissive that's just natural that's nature you guys so it don't mean that you have to be like that all the time but this active versus passive here throughout your love love journey that's what spirit is going to be working with you on you guys know you resonated with that you're like oh yeah Gabrielle, i know i'm a little headstrong so are you guys tourists like me are you guys like big signs like me? Are you kind of like earth signs like Virgos, Capricorns? <laughs> Y'all know we did that. And with these, it seems like to me you're not going to too much get any good partners <laughs> until you meet the right partner. It's three relationships. So if you're in a relationship now, count that as one person. You have two more, two more to go. <laughs> and if you're single, you have three more relationships to go. <laughs> okay? So, that's not going to be for everybody. That's for some people, okay? To me, in your future, though, in your future, you're definitely going to come together with this card. This is my come together card. You're definitely going to be coming together with someone, okay? So, and you're going to be happy. You're going to be very, very, very happy. Look at this delight card, okay? So, you're, if you think, like, I don't know if, I, if there's a person as unique out there for me. That unique person is out there for you, okay? This person, is this person a Gemini? So, 
oh my gosh, I'm a Taurus. I don't like when I meet Gemini men. I'm just being for real. But with this innocence card here, it's like this, I feel like this person's gonna kind of be like have this baby face. But I feel like alpha, alpha male, you know, um, it still be alpha male. I don't care what nobody say, homosexual, heterosexual, alpha male type of personality. Okay, and um, even if this is a woman, if you are in a homosexual relationship and you are two women, this woman is gonna have like a baby-like face, but she's gonna be like more. Uh, she's gonna definitely carry herself more wiggle. Um, she's gonna have high standards, you know, and she's gonna like you, <laughs> and she's going to um, be well put. Someone well put. Someone I feel like this person has like a baby-like face, so they might not be uh, just so handsome, so good looking, but uh, very like cute in a cute face in appearance, but very nice dresser, very nice put, very nice and neat looking person is, is what I'm getting. Someone who always keeps their hair done, you know, male or female. Someone who dresses really nice, male or female, you know. Someone who just carries themselves like a royalty is what I think. When you look at them, that's kind of how they're going to carry themselves with a lot of confidence. So, that's all you guys. Leave in the comment section if any of this resonated with you um, at all. And um, just let me know. Yeah, and that's what your person is going to look like. That is your love future. Did y'all like that? That's all, y'all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome back to the second card. I forgot what the name was, but it will be in the timestamps. So, but here is your message, okay? So you guys, think I have a little tough love to give you. I definitely see some work that you're gonna have to do. These are your cards, so you have drive, you have energetic movement, you have decision, okay? So some of you guys, I already feel like you're not gonna be single alone, or maybe you're not, maybe you're already with that one, okay? Maybe I'm talking to both of you. Here's some oracle cards for you guys. Yeah, I already know what I'm getting. Some of you guys are already with someone and you're not with the right one. Okay, so here's one of your cards. Self-expression. Yeah, I'm really getting this now. Partnership. Channel clearly. A light and heart of mind. Complete and move on. Some of you guys are with the wrong person right now. Spirit is like, okay, we're talking about the future of your love. The future, since you're with the wrong person right now. Okay, since you guys are with the wrong person right now, the future of your love depends on you getting out of this relationship, okay? Spirit has to tell you that because some of you guys don't want to. You're going to have to, this is my move card. It's called for changes to move and just moving in, in general. You're going to definitely have to get, get out of this. I feel like this person is bad energy. Um, you're going to have to get out of this. Look, this decision card. You're going to have to get out of this, okay? So, for some of you guys, if it's not a relationship, it's more so of your mindset, you know? Spirit's like, when it comes to a partnership, channel clearly. When it comes to the future of your love, it's kind of like the uh, um, the people who who picked the first card spirit was really telling them the future but you guys are just gonna be are just kind of stuck this card is kind of telling me that you're you're stuck a little bit you're stuck with this mindset with this look a light and heart of mind complete and move on right here with this mindset you guys are gonna really have to um Work on like oh just like the last one though your heart chakra your heart chakra and your sacral chakra not I was about to say crown not your crown just your heart chakra and your sacral chakra for some of you guys throat chakra for some reason I'm hearing that also so um once you get this um the the mindset that you guys are working on seems like it's very specific you might need a personal reading to me. I think for one, self-expression, self this is self-esteem. And the future of your relationship depends on, for some of you guys, the relationship you're already in is bad for you. You have to move out of that. For some of you guys, it's, um, some, it's knowing your self-worth. It's knowing your self-worth, your self-image, okay? So, uh, for some reason, I'm hearing Pisces. Maybe I'm talking to Pisces. Um, I'm seeing Tuesday. Maybe I'm talking to Gemini's. 
Uh, I'm hearing Capricorn. Maybe I'm talking to some Capricorns, you know. Um, so, um, but that's what I'm hearing. In order to get to the person that's really for you, you have some things that you have to work on. And for one, it's just self-esteem. You have to really know your worth, okay, you guys? So, I think, but when you get finished with this person, this someone is just only with you <laughs> for your body, you know? When she peeped this out, 9 plus 10, 9 plus 2, 11, this person is not your twin flame if you think this person is there or not. Or, this person could be your twin flame if you look at twin flames like I do. Twin flames just come to teach you a lesson, okay? They're in, they are kind of like the mirror of yourself and they just come to teach you a lesson. But if you if you perceive twin flames in a good way, like in a um, way of my way, so it's, it's still positive, it's a good way. But if you're looking at it like in a relationship type of way, then this person is not your twin flame. But if you believe in twin flames like I do and I've studied a lot of people who believe like this, then this person will be your twin flame but they're only they only came to teach you a lesson you know to show you the things that you need to work on within yourself so they you might be in a relationship with someone and they actually try to tell you about your self-worth and your self-esteem and things like that you know so but this person is not for you you know when i was looking at these cards this person is just saying that this person that you open up for that you open the door to this person is not for you okay so um this is right here. This is like this person is. This is another self-esteem card. Is what I'm hearing. You're like um, going through life, wanting to see the beauty. You have this beauty around you. You are a very beautiful person, but it's like you don't see it. You know. So definitely work on your. Um, definitely work on your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra and your heart chakra is going to is going to help you guys uh, when it comes to seeing the beauty in yourself and seeing the beauty in yourself. In, and, and seeing um, just how much you are worth so you won't just be accepting like any kind of thing anymore so the thing is you guys before you can even get to it's like i can't too much tell you about your future because you have these things that you have to get through first so um if you want to know if there is a person for you of course yes definitely that there, there is a person for you but this is another thing i feel like you guys have to realize you guys have to realize that there is that there might not just be um some people just sit on just one person, you know. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to go through a lot of good people. Obviously, from the first people, from the first cards, you're going to go through a lot of good people. But that don't mean that person is, is the one. All because you have good sex, that don't mean that person is the one. It All because you have sex that you never, never felt with another person before, that don't mean the person is the one. Just because you have a connection with this person that you never felt before, that don't mean that person is the one that you're supposed to be with. I think you guys are going to have a lot of good relationships. But you're going to have to definitely figure out, you know, your worth and your self-esteem. Because especially when it comes to your self-esteem, then you're not even really looking at the person for who they are. Because you don't really recognize who you are yet, you know. So when it comes to self-esteem, it's just, it's like, um, that's one reason why you feel like this person is just so great for you. Because you might not see yourself well, like I said, I feel like you're with like a lot of uh, people that you're going to meet a lot of people that are going to come off really good. And some of them might be bad. I think for some of you guys, the person you're with right now is not really that good of a person. They just kind of, they may be like deceiving you like they are. But once you know yourself worth you're going to really be able to see people for who they really are, okay? For like, I'm looking at this card right here, like the beautiful person that you are. You know, happy, go lucky, free person is what I think. A big hearted person that you are, you're gonna really know that. And once you know that, then you're not gonna settle for anything less than what you're worth. Than what you're worth, okay? So that is all for you guys. Let me know down in the comments, you guys, if any of this resonated with you all. And then you know, we can go a little deeper in this if you need a personal reading. Um, my information is in the description. And that's all, you guys. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye. So, for those of you guys who are led to the last one, this is looking into your relationship's future. I think this was Destiny. I forgot the last one. I mean, I didn't forget the last one. I'm saying I forgot the one that... <laughs> I forgot the name to this deck, and I think it was Destiny. So, here are y'all's cards that came out. We have Be Candid. We have Perseverance. 
positive outlook, divine support. Then we have, uh, come on up, self-expression, regroup. Self-expression, risk versus, versus safety. Self-expression. Oh, all these are self-expression. Self-expression. Flexibility within structure. Hmm. Okay. So, here goes some more cards for you guys that came out. They don't have no words on them, so just kind of look at them. Okay, so looking into you guys' relationships future, it's like, okay, you guys are, I don't know if you guys know or not, but I tell you, I am the type that lasts to prevent from crying. So, did y'all hear about that whole Nicole Murphy thing? This don't got nothing to do with that. I don't think it do. Because <laughs> sometimes I wonder why I get ideas. That's all. People was like, she was laughing. I was like, she might be like me, though. You know, like, I didn't believe her either. I feel like she was lying, but, yeah. The reason why I'm saying that, yeah, you guys, is because I'm that type. Like, I would laugh at something that's supposed to be serious. Just because I'm the type that laughs, that laughs in order to prevent from crying, to keep from crying. I'm just that type of person. I'm just, and I'm not a crier. I'm saying that because of the message that I'm getting. Um, for you guys, relationships future is this is a lot of. Um, before I say the wrong thing, I really want to explain this right. Some of you guys just might need a personal reading, cause this seems very specific and uh kind of deep. So uh, it feels like you guys um. Some of you guys are, you want relationships, but you're just kind of, some of you guys are content, but I'm just kind of being, it's been a little headache for you because um, you're really trying to find that one, you don't know why. Some of you guys keep running into the same type of people, or you're just wondering why you haven't found that one yet. Um, the thing is, I don't, it's just not so much you have to work on, but there is this self-expression three, three times this you got self-expression three times and uh, spirit did that with the first card but it was another one so self-expression so if anything you you'll have to work on or when it comes to your relationships future flexibility with the structure risk versus safety regroup this is really all, yeah, this is getting to know yourself better, okay? This is just really getting to know exactly what you want in a relationship, you know? Um, some of you guys, it's like, the only, the only, the only reason why I feel like crying is because you guys have, you put a lot into others, you know? I think some of you guys are just really big helpers. Um, you have really big hearts, and you really do have all this love to give, and you haven't been treated the best in your life, time. But it's not a, it's not. Um, I know I was talking to one group. There was like self esteem. It's not self esteem, but this self expression stuff here. And I usually talk about this when it comes to self expression. It's more so of getting to know yourself better and what you want and the only reason why you've met these people is because you just need to know you need to really tell spirit what it is that you want once you get to know yourself better though you'll know more of what you want so like i said um it's not just saying that you don't um respect yourself you don't have any self-worth or anything like that i'm not saying that and that's not bad to say either because we all have to work on something sometimes this is just say okay spirit um i am the type that's like i already know like um i'm very headstrong um for a woman i'm just really headstrong and really uh and really um like a leader type really strong type of woman so what type of man do i want do i want that same type of man you know or do i want the type of man that's that's a little um more 
uh, relaxed and um, not so spontaneous, you know, or just a little bit more laid back. Like, like, what do you want? You know, I've had to ask myself that sometimes, like, you know, like, Gabrielle, well, well, what do you want, you know? So, um, sometimes I like men like me. I like more of an introverted type of man, but I seem to meet the opposite. I seem to meet more extroverted type of men, and sometimes I get on my, my nerves. Sometimes I like it. I would like to think that, I mean, I, I love when I meet extroverts, though. I would like to think that it's the best type for me. So, ask yourself that. This is spirit just like, what do you want? This re regroup card here, self expression regroup. Like, spirit is like, you just really have to sit. This is you going to the drawing board, like actually manifesting this person. And when you even manifest this person, you're going to say what it is that you really want. You're going to like regroup with this regroup card here. For me, this is what I'm hearing. You're basically taking out all of the, your old experiences, your past experiences, things that you know didn't work. You're going to look at those, reevaluate those things and say, okay, this didn't work, so this is what I want, okay? You guys have a lot of love to give, so so you guys, some of you guys gonna have to be a little bit more risky, you know, risk versus safety. So just because it seems like who you are, you might not be the type. You might be a little, you know, um, introverted. You know, you might just not be the type to take a risk. You know, you might be a little safe. But spirit is like, okay, well, um, if we're gonna help you with this, then okay. Let me help you. Spirit is like, some of you guys, you're going to have to be a little bit more risky because this person might be your opposite when you're kind of used to a certain type of person. But Spirit is like, okay, but this person is not going to be like that. This person is going to be a little different. Okay, this is saying something very simple. Flexibility within the structure, okay? So you're going to have to be a little bit more flexible. You can't just be just set on this one thing type of person you know you're gonna have to say okay it okay so like I said spirits like get to know yourself so you're gonna say if I'm like this do I really need someone else like this or do I really need my opposite spirits like that's all you have to do when it comes to the future of your relationship this is what spirit is working on you with right now okay whether you're single with someone spirit is just working on you for you to see, it seems like that's your struggle, knowing exactly what it is you want. So, I feel like you guys are so, uh, you have such good hearts and you're very accepting that it's hard for you to kind of distinguish what you want sometimes just because you do kind of like um, accept um, a lot of different people. Like I said, now this is slightly different than another group group that I was talking to so if you were led to both then hey the message is kind of similar so just you know take bits and pieces and whatever don't resonate then leave it there because this is slightly different than not knowing your worth this is just you being a good person and you just accept all types of personalities the spirit's like no once you get to know yourself better you're gonna see that certain personalities just do not you know collide or go with your personality so throughout your relationships journey spirit is simply working with you with you just not just saying okay this is a nice person so i'm going to give this person a try no everybody's not meant for you just because you're you're accepting of all types of people hey nothing is wrong with that you're a big hearted person and like <laughs> I, I actually felt you i felt your pain because you've given a lot to giving a lot to people and you don't get that back you know so that's why when I first started to know those cards and I kind of chuckled a little bit because I was like oh my gosh it's instantly what I felt like wow these are some really giving people really loving people and they don't get there in return so y'all I'm weird like that I will laugh to keep from crying because I was just really felt your pain and what you've been through you know but you're not going to go through that no more. You're going to sit down and you're going to say, okay, the next person that comes to me, even though they're really nice or seem really cool or really interesting, really different. I can't just say, I'm going to accept this person into my life, you know, because I don't want to be, you know, held guilty of judging someone because you're not like that. So you don't want to judge people, but you're going to have to judge, judge these people 
when they're coming into your life, you're going to have to judge them now. You're going to have to say, well, you know what? This might not work for me because you're trying to find a person that you're going to be with, you know? So what I feel like, I feel like you have two more people. And the reason I really feel like this is because I feel like this is you now. You're going on the right journey. Some of you guys are really resonating with what I'm saying because you're like, yeah, I'm really trying to see, like, is are these people you know really meant to be in my life like are we just really compatible you know and it's not like you're just not picky it's well it's it's not like you're not picky or it's not like you're just sloppy it's just like you're accepting you know you want to give everybody a fair chance and so yeah you're going in the right direction but we're just looking at that okay so with these two cards here that's kind of upside down, then I would take them as like a negative way for this particular reading. And I'm looking at these two twos here, and it's just more confirmed to me. Spirit's like two more people. So if you're with someone right now, then you're very close, okay? Spirit is like, okay, so now that we told you what you have to work on, I feel like with some of you guys, you're going to go ahead and work on that. And then the next person is going to be the one, okay? But if you're single now, then you got two more people. So if you're with someone, when this person is gone... <laughs> Since I feel like, well, this will be the message, then it will be the next person, okay? Because something is, it's, it's not right with the person you're with now. I guess you guys are just not compatible. Probably not a bad person, but just not compatible. It's going to be that next person if you're with someone right now, okay? So this message will not resonate with, with everyone, so I might not be talking to you. You know, if you want to stay with the person that you're with now, you can just receive certain things that I'm saying. If you want to stay with that person, you feel like that person is for you, you can stay with that person just receive the other stuff that I'm saying to just you know continue to work on exactly what you want and what you will accept so while you're with that person that person will know okay well this is who she is she's telling me who she is and what she will she will accept you know so but um oh because this is what I was feeling you guys like I said when I was pulling these cards over that's what I got when I was seeing these cards just giving giving and giving a lot to the wrong people you know like this is like a bunny this is like a cute little deer not necessarily bad people but just giving to the wrong people you know just because you're just such an accepting person okay so for these cards down here okay so if any one of you guys are just feeling like you know you're about to give up and like you just don't know what it is well you know what i think i kind of help you guys out with that today so spirits like just stay positive have more of a positive perspective positive outlook so good things can follow you and like i said don't give up keep going okay the right ones out there for you so you guys remember when i was saying um for some of you guys who are already in a relationship now well i do feel like some of you guys are already in a, rela in a relationship now you want to um leave that relationship and maybe someone good for you so this person probably would be good for you it is good for you since this message is coming out this message would be more for you to speak up and just say you know what i feel like you know throughout my life i'm just i'm starting to get to know myself better and what i want and just speak up and just say you know this is what i want and this is what i want to tolerate and i feel like this person is a good enough person and they'll be like okay i understand i will work on that okay so you guys